His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa participated in the GCC US summit alongside their majesties, their highnesses, leaders of the GCC and the US President Barack Obama at Al Dir'iyya Palace in Riyadh. Addressing the summit, His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for the kind invitation of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the gracious hospitality offered by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King said that today's meeting reflected the solid foundations of the relationship between the GCC countries and the United States of America, in addition to their joint willingness to improve and enhance ties in the military, economic, trade, political and cultural sectors. His Majesty the King also noted the historic relationship between the GCC and the United States, especially the strong security and defense partnership which began with the first Gulf War and the liberation of Kuwait and extended to joint efforts to combat piracy and terrorism with a comprehensive missile defense system for the GCC along with many other areas of cooperation. His Majesty the King strongly affirmed the need to intensify GCC-US defense cooperation and all GCC countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa participated in the GCC US summit closing session alongside their majesties, their highnesses, leaders of the GCC and the US President Barack Obama at Al Dir'iyya Palace in Riyadh. His Majesty the King bade farewell to the custodian of the two holy mosques, expressing his thanks and appreciation for the generous hosting and praising his efforts and initiatives to support the GCC march and maintain the security, peace and stability of the region and the world. His Majesty the King also bade farewell to their majesties, their highnesses, leaders of the GCC and the U.S. President Barack Obama. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the sidelines of the GCC US summit. Also present were His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the UAE Foreign Minister His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The meeting discussed bilateral brotherly ties in all fields and the importance of supporting and enhancing the GCC march and strengthening cooperation between GCC countries. The meeting also discussed regional and international developments, issues of mutual interest and topics included in the summit. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended a lunch banquet hosted by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in honor of his brothers, their majesties, their highnesses, leaders of the GCC, and the U.S. President Barack Obama, as they participated in the GCC U.S. summit at Al Dir'iyya Palace in Riyadh. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa took part in the GCC Moroccan summit held yesterday at Al Dir'iyya Palace in Riyadh alongside the GCC leaders and His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 24 for this year, approving the list of complementary medical professions, providing that the license to practice any of these professions and its regulatory codes are subject to Law Decree 2 of 1987 regarding the practice of alternative medicine by practitioners other than physicians and pharmacists. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Information Affairs Minister Ali Al Rumehi. His Highness congratulated Mr. Al Rumehi on his appointment, wishing him success in performing his responsibilities. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the Minister's efforts and managerial experiences that had helped to develop Bahrain's media and to achieve the leadership's vision and had contributed to the Kingdom's further progress. 
His Highness hailed the ministry's role in supporting the youth and sports movement, stressing the importance of enhancing national unity and protecting national achievements. Mr. Romehi expressed his thanks and appreciation to the wise leadership, commending His Highness Sheikh Nasser's efforts to support the youth and sports movement, which plays a significant role in supporting Bahrain's achievements and maintaining its gains. The Shura Council hailed the fruitful results of the GCC-US summit, which was held in Riyadh, as it shed light on enhancing efforts regarding maintaining the region's stability and achieving GCC citizens' aims and aspirations. The Council lauded the Kingdom's participation led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and highlighted His Majesty's speech in the summit in which he affirmed Bahrain's constant efforts regarding combating terrorism and its efforts of maintaining the region's security and stability. The Shura Council also hailed the results of the GCC Moroccan summit through enhancing GCC Moroccan strategic partnership and developing relations in various levels. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, held a, a consultative meeting today with the Supreme Judicial Council to review the important roles of the Council. The Council's Assistant Secretary General Khalifa Al Wardi gave a detailed presentation on the achievements, developments, and strategic transformations of the Council until 2015. He also reviewed a number of important tracks, such as the judicial system of Bahrain and the independence of the judiciary. He also spoke of the judicial and administrative organization and enhancing joint international cooperation to support the development of both the judiciary and the judicial systems and raising awareness of the council's importance in enhancing and protecting human rights. The council also discussed the strategic plan that corresponds with economic vision 2030 and means of boosting strategic cooperation with the economic development board, the EDB. The joint demobilization drill storms at dawn 20 between Bahrain's Royal Navy, BDF units, Interior Ministry, Coast Guard and the National Guard concluded early this morning. Present was the commander of the Bahraini Royal Navy, Brigadier Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah al-Khalifa. The drill, which was held between the 17th and the 21st of April, was part of planned programs to train and qualify all participants. The drill included preparations and planning of a maritime combat operations, in addition to working on upgrading combat readiness and training operations of leadership and control. The participating forces implemented the specialized maritime training program with the latest technology to improve the Bahrain Royal Navy's ability to face various combat situations and raise the level and efficiency of its members. The programs are part of the BDF strategy for developing maritime training in order to create a solid military foundation for protecting maritime borders and the fight against terrorism, infiltration and sabotage. The participants demonstrated high efficiency in performing their assigned tasks and duties. Moving on to international news, UN brokered Yemeni peace talks, which were originally scheduled to begin on Monday, were expected to open today in Kuwait. Speaking in New York, UN spokesman Stefan Dujirik yesterday said that the peace talks aimed at resolving the conflict between the Yemeni government and the Iranian-aligned uh, aligned Houthi rebels were postponed after delegations representing the rebels and their allies failed to appear on Monday. In a statement, meanwhile, the government's negotiating team said that it would be compelled to leave Kuwait if the talks did not begin this morning. The statement added that the Houthis would bear full responsibility for the failure of the negotiations in that case. An official at Sana'a's airport confirmed the delegations representing the Houthis and the General National Congress of former President Ali Abdullah Saleh left for the Omani capital Masqat earlier yesterday en route to Kuwait. Amateur video uploaded to a social media website purported to show the aftermath of airstrikes in Syria as fragile peace talks in Geneva risk collapsing. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said helicopters had dropped barrel bombs on areas of Termella near Homs with no reports of casualties. It added that warplanes had launched at least seven raids on the Hula area.